Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ella Masher and you are? Hi, I'm Babette Peter. Um, it is Sunday night at 10 o'clock and we are in Madrid, Spain. Um, I am a recently retired and obviously if you guys are watching this through Doyen Sport then you probably know who we are. So we'll give it, we'll make it a bit short. Um, this segment is called My Next Chapter or Our Next Chapter um, and it is pretty much going to sh show or try to see the next couple weeks. Um, it is our home stretch for our little baby boy. Uh, 36 weeks starts today so he is can be healthy and come out um, and everything is going well with our plan here minus the fact that it was 46 degrees today. Um, and we're just gonna show you a little bit behind um, what it looks like. We're, this is our first baby, I'm 34. Pops I'm is 32, still a uh, pro athlete, uh, playing this season, first season for Real Madrid. Feminino, first time ever. Mm -hmm. And we've moved here, you moved here September last year. I moved here in November. And, and then we started the process of trying to get pregnant as a same sex couple. Mm -hmm. Um, IVF, it was my turn since I just recently also retired from 10 years of being a pro. Um, and I think the reason we wanted, and I say we because Pops is very private, and we wanted to do this was just to show a bit of a different step. That's something that as two athletes, it's very new to us and having a first kid and just trying to show the craziness of leading up to what is gonna be a new human in the world. And, two or three weeks, or maybe four. God, hopefully not more than four. <laughs> the fun stuff of Ikea. Oh. She always tells me I can't buy something fluffy. Do you like our new pillow? And now we're in tech here. Okay. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the ride. Um, Box is in full training. Your first game is in. Um, yeah. Um, would be in the first weekend of September. Um, I hope uh, it's gonna be like this. You never know these days with the virus and with the situation here in Spain, but. Hopefully it starts at the beginning of September. And as we say in Spain, we were hit quite hard. We were 12 weeks locked, locked in, literally in our apartment together, right? Yes, exactly. So that was also a bit different with a kid. It came. Gotta open it. Wow. Yeah, like Ella said, it's not really my thing to go out and tell my story. Um, but I think like, I mean, it's like a really, um, yeah, not weird situation, but a new situation for us. And <laughs> I'm sure people are in the same situation, um, maybe kind of similar. And maybe that's just making people feel a little bit better that we all have this struggles and you guys are probably in more control let's be honest mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought it would be really important or really important and um, we're just happy to show this side of but you know, in one week, two weeks, four weeks, we're gonna have this little boy coming into the world and some of the preparations uh, going into that and also handling, you know, me being away in a foreign country and Bob starting this journey of being part of the Galacticos of Real and trying to navigate that of having your first kid, first baby boy. Yeah, exactly. I think um, I'm really excited. We are really excited to, yeah, yeah, finally we'll have a son and um, I think like we want to show a little bit, um, yeah, how 
yeah, our life will be with uh, our new family member. And um, we can show you the schedule. She put in the kitchen as <laughs> what she. Yeah, I think like we can coming later to this point. Um, yeah, I think like I'm sure um, many people have will have same struggles that we will have, or same problems, or same uh, joy, same happiness, so experiences. same experience. So I think like um, yeah, to open up a little bit in this case maybe helps um, and some people around the world there. <laughs> Again, I guess good luck. I hope you guys enjoy it and cheers to week one or I guess week 36. Hopefully he doesn't come or he needs at least two more weeks. No, he needs at least two more weeks and then um, yeah. I have to keep breathing. I'm fine uh, when he's coming out in two weeks. Okay, ciao guys.